We're liver purging, detox that going to discuss. We will talk about the food varieties best for that. Smoothies, shakes, and enhancements. One thing that I believe is a sort of a misconception about the actual liver. The liver does not hold or store poisons. All right? It gets free of poisons. It's the fundamental organ that transforms these fat, dissolvable toxic substances into a water solvent substance that is no longer poisonous, after which it is eliminated it through the bile channels. With the assistance of the bile, and when discussing purifying, we're truly discussing purging the liver of fat, and furthermore, aggravation or scar tissue. And the more greasy the liver, the more scar tissue and the more irritation, the less it has the ability to detox. And there's this entire fountain of astonishing catalysts in the liver that assist with taking this extremely serious, perilous, toxic substance the whole way through to the place. Where it's presently not toxic, you can even eliminate half of the fat in the liver. Through going on a low-carb diet, this is referred to as a ketogenic diet, so I want to, into particular foods. But you only need to be aware in the event that you continue low-carb with the regular fasting. You can drop a great deal of fat off the liver super quick. And the less fat the liver has, the more it can take care of its business. The liver is around three and a half pounds, the size of a football, and it's truly vigorous. It takes a teasing. Furthermore, it can go about its business just with 20% of the remaining liver cells, and it is the main organ that can totally recover itself. However, there is a point of impediment. You can quit wasting time where it's so loaded up with scar tissue. That condition is known as cirrhosis. You must get on the rundown for a liver transfer, and a great deal of times individuals have no side effects. In the underlying periods of liver issues, other than some weakness. Weakness, however, one genuine, straightforward method for knowing whether you have a greasy liver is simply to peer down and check whether you can see your stomach. Jutting out due to stomach fat is a decent sign that you have liver fat at this point. To the extent that what makes the liver become greasy, you could say, well, right, well, that is most certainly something that can. Despite the fact that there is also something even more normal called non-alcoholic greasy liver infection, and that condition fundamentally comes from fructose. Okay, now where might you get fructose? Is in a ton of the sugars that individuals consume, like table sugar, has fructose, beet sugar, honey. All fruits contain roughly half fructose and half glucose. So in the event that you're eating a great deal of sugar and drinking your sugar, as in high fructose corn syrup, like all the soft drinks, and squeeze and quick food varieties, possibilities are you have a greasy liver not to notice. Normal wine and successive tidbits will all add to a greasy liver. So what are the best food sources to assist with recuperating the liver to help fortify its capacity to detoxify? Right at the first spot on the list, you have something many refer to as cruciferous vegetables similar to kale, rugula, and broccoli, cauliflower, collard greens, mustard greens, brussels sprouts, bok choy, horseradish, cabbage. These are very special vegetables that try not to essentially give you more chemicals yet. They trigger or incite a greater amount of your own body stage 1, stage 2 compounds to assist you with separating synthetic substances. And there's likewise quite certain normal synthetics. They're called fundamental synthetic substances or cruciferous phytonutrients that are significantly more intense than different things. Okay, broccoli sulforaphane. Sprouts or miniature greens. Microgreens are essentially pretty much a multi-day. Old child vegetable versus fledglings may be like between three to seven days. However, radish microgreens or fledglings or broccoli microgreens or fledglings are stacked with sulforaphane. So what I like to do, rather than just regular lettuce. Instead, for my serving of mixed greens, I like to utilize the arugula leaf since that is going to more intensely, do much more great than normal lettuce. Another vegetable that is truly beets are beneficial to the liver and help boost bile production, 
which may be beneficial. Dispose of poisons from the liver that they just been separated. Beets can assist with expanding the progression of biles. So then, at that point, that bile can, in fact, assist in eliminating all of the toxins produced by your liver separated beets. Likewise, trigger this. Stage 1, Stage 2, Detoxification. So what you can do is you can. Shave some crude beet on your plate of mixed greens, or simply steam beets and consume beets, and similarly. As a side note, organic product is somewhat horrible for the liver since you will get a great deal of fructose. Be that as it may, berries, particularly the blueberry, can aid in reducing liver fibrosis, and despite its anti-inflammatory properties, it is named a natural product. However, it has a part lower sugar than different natural products. You could believe that too. Dispose of fat on the liver. You need to go in a low-fat diet. No, you cannot. You must enter a low-carb diet. Dispose of the sugars, since that sugar then changes over into fat. The fattiest food sources, like eggs. And organ meats like hamburger, liver, and grass took care of meat also. Greasy fish all are stacked with this other supplement called choline that very strongly disposes of fat off your liver. All things considered choline is even essential for your own bile, which makes it a sort of detergent for fats. And speculate what has the bulk of choline, yolks, meat, liver, and greasy fish yet. You can likewise get some choline in things like broccoli. So it's not just about going on a low-fat eating routine. There's moreover additional fats that aid in fat loss. Your liver. And that would be the omega-3. The fats I just mentioned add fitty fish. In any case, salmon fish grass took care of. Hamburger sardines contain a lot of omega-3s. Acids that can extraordinarily help the liver as well as reduction irritation in your liver. On the other side, omega-6 greasy acids, all the seed. Oils like the corn, safflower oil, soy oil, and all these things that are high in omega-6 in reality make more issues for the liver. So I don't suggest consuming those. And we have whey as well. Sadly, a lot of those. I think these days a normal individual consumes multiple times more omega-6 oils than they ought to. And it's secret in calf food varieties. It's in seared foods. They use it in salad dressings mayonnaise, and numerous different food varieties. Now, regarding the protein that is required for the liver to work, you really want high-quality protein. That would be eggs, grass. Took care of meat and greasy fish. You shouldn't go on a protein-free diet. Diet. In light of the fact that these amino acids are very exceptionally important to assist with mending the liver. However, at that point, again, you additionally don't have any desire to use protein of low quality, especially the, the soy, based protein powders, protein powders, whey protein is moreover hard on the liver, it's a refined item, there's no fat, the liver really, does better assuming you eat food varieties that have the normal fat with the protein, probiotic food sources are extremely, good for the liver, that would be sauerkraut kimchi, furthermore, Kefir and pickles. Those are some primary food sources that are great to help bolster the detox and also eliminate liver fat. And also a decrease irritation. How about we shift gears to smoothies and shakes? There's two. Truth be told, great ones. And the two of them use blueberries. Okay, so you get a few blueberries. Like a cup and one of the shakes. You're utilizing frozen kale. So what I like to do is take a pack of kale from the supermarket. And then, at that point, just put it in the cooler. Freeze it solid. And when you are prepared, take a several small bunches of kale. Put it in the blender. Okay? Take a cup of blueberries. Should be blended in. It up with water simply over the material. Mix it for like 30 to 45 seconds. And you've got yourself a really good one. Solid liver purifying shake. Another one I like to utilize is with kefir. Don't get the one that has low fat entire milk. Furthermore, it very well may be either sheep milk or goat milk. However, don't attempt to get the low naturally fat person will try to get grass. Fed organically if possible. 
but that kefir is superior to conventional yogurt. Since it not just has the microorganisms, it has a cordial yeast and significantly more microorganisms. What I like to do is take a cup, or on the other hand, two of kefir and a cup of blueberries. And it might be necessary to add a little water to it, perhaps 50% of a cup now and then. You don't? I would initially attempt it without the water, in light of the fact that occasionally the kefir is more fluid. It truly depends on how fluid the kefir is. And afterward, you mix it for 30 seconds and drink that down. It's heavenly. Thus, you have this probiotic blueberry liver securing shake. And afterward, with the kale, you're in reality drinking your cruciferous vegetable. And it's crude. It's frozen. Goes right in. And it truly helps. You'll ever. Now to the extent that a beverage goes the best. A liver-friendly beverage would be blend of apple juice, vinegar, and lemon. The apple juice vinegar can help strip fat off the liver. It additionally can help support blood sugars and make insulin more sensitive. In assisting you in rectifying insulin opposition, which is at the heart of a greasy liver. And furthermore, lemon is very, extremely sharp. And it also has choline in different things that can help support the liver. It has a ton of L, ascorbic acid. It can assist in reducing inflammation. Step 2 tablespoons of apple juice vinegar. Put it in a glass. You can take one lemon, press the lemon from that one lemon into the glass, and you have around 12 ounces of water. And afterward, drink it with a straw. In some cases, I'll take the entirety. Lemon. Blended that with approximately 2 tablespoons of 2 ounces of water, apple juice, vinegar. Mix it down so I have a few extra cool properties of that lemon strip that you wouldn't get from the lemon juice. You can utilize genuine lemon squeeze yet. Understand? It's normally purified, that is, warm, since L-ascorbic acid gets annihilated with heat. So in the event that you simply take a genuine lemon, what's more, juice it yourself. That is generally the best. Now, to the extent that the enhancements go that are really great for the liver. Full straightforwardness. I truly do sell a liver purging supplement yet to the extent that supplements go. These are really ideal for the liver. At the first spot on the list would be milk thorn. Milk thorn is utilized as the the antidote to poison is what I'm referring to. Poisoning caused by mushrooms. Discussing snake harming I'm looking at being harmed from Tylenol and a lot of other poisons. It's a lot. Astonishing milk thorn fundamentally has this super ability to safeguard the liver. However, it's likewise great for a greasy liver. It's also beneficial for reducing inflammation and to prevent liver scar tissue. And that term is called cirrhosis. Choline I mentioned that prior to receiving that as an enhancement to choline helps strip fat off the liver. Then we have Turmeric OK that is truly strong for the liver also aids as an antioxidant. Decrease irritation in the liver and it's been known to assist you. With decreasing fat, bowel salts that are too pure for the liver are also beneficial for reducing liver fat. What's more, many individuals are lacking in bile. Thus things sort of back up from the bile conduits. And when things back up, you can't. Detoxify so part of detoxification is permitting things to move through the liver, and bile solids commonly can open up the stuck stream. So things can move through and out through into the small digestive system. Probiotics are truly great for the liver. Also, and the last cure would be something called tocatrinals. This is a sort of vitamin E that works multiple times more grounded. Moreover, it is very beneficial for an achy liver, and that is called hepatitis. However, any irritation on the heart or the tocotrinals can help the liver. So because it can prevent fibrosis, if you contemplate vitamin E, if you can rub it into the skin to help dispose of scar tissue well. Tacotrinos is great for scarring of your liver. 